If I were looking back and had the opportunity to kind of go back and talk to my younger self, and this at any stage really of my younger self, I would sit down and say, you're doing better than you think you are. If I could tell my younger self anything, it would be, don't be so serious. Lighten up, enjoy life. I think I'd say to my younger self, uh, don't lose hope, stay focused, um, be energetic, take risks, try things, um, travel the world, come back home. I guess I would say, you're going to live a wonderful life. Take advantage of all the opportunities that other people give you. What I would tell my younger self is keep your chin up and it's all going to work out. Like you will realize your dreams, even the dreams you don't realize you have right now. And also maybe pay a little bit more attention in uh, English class because people are going to dog you about those commas for the rest of your life. <laughs> I cause trouble. I cause good trouble as much as I can. There's nothing more important to me than pride and feeling pride in who they are. And so my whole life has been dedicated to making the world a better place. I always think just be yourself and that's what a lot of people really appreciate, like I said, even if they don't agree with you on a lot of different things. There are always going to be uh, uh, people that aren't as positive as, as we'd like them to be or don't see things the way that we'd like them to see them. but. Uh, we get a responsibility to help them uh, change their view too and see the world differently. And you know, life is fragile and uh, tomorrow's not promised. So we try to do the best that we can today to make a positive difference in all people's lives, regardless of who they love, regardless of if they go to church or not, regardless of their political affiliation. We can agree uh, to disagree in a civil way. There is no other. It, we are one human family and it's just us. And the sooner we realize that, um, the better our world's going to be. Well, steadfast and perseverance are extremely important words. All that it takes to make a hurricane is for a butterfly to flap its wings. Little things will always lead to big things. There is so much to be said about persistence. You can out live or outweigh most things, right? You just keep moving forward, moving forward. Yep, yep, that, yeah, I hear that, got it. But you, if you, ha you have a mission and you know you're centered on that purpose, you just don't stop. I would tell people today, model the behavior you want to see, show up, be steadfast in your thinking, and you can make a change in the world. You know, it's been pretty heavy lately for the LGBTQ community. I guess the way I try to escape that is remembering who's around me and, and sometimes really just focusing on the good things in my life outside of all that noise. But I also think that getting involved in community or you know, community organizations that I am passionate about that are making a difference help me as well hunger, housing, mental health. What are all the ways that our community is kind of being attacked these days? And where can we spread out our talent? I believe that change is possible and we can win a better future for ourselves, for our community, for our state. You're always gonna have people that think it's kind of fluffy stuff, it's not credible, it's not valid. And my response to that is you meet them where they're at. Of course, you're going to get people to debunk that and say that bias doesn't work. And I would say, well, yeah, if I go to the gym once, I'm not going to get any guns on my arms, right? Got to continue to do it. It's a process. Meeting people where they're at. Awareness, education, application, observation. Iowa in general, uh, my hope is that we continue to be that state that has open arms and open minds. And when we when we start to feel like we don't have an open mind, that we question ourselves. And I really believe that that can happen. We just all have to keep seeing a bigger vision of what we want our state to be uh, and what, how we want our people to feel. There's a lot of ways of being an ally. You don't have to always come out and, and march and knock on doors. That's important if that's what you do. But the most important thing that I learned from my brother is to be there, to listen, to be a friend to show compassion.
to the LGBT community. For, for all the, the LGBTQ and queer youth, I will always say that I know things are hard right now and the road ahead might be a little bit rocky, but the future is always better with you in it. And you can, restill, you can realize your dreams in a better place to live. Keep your chin up and we'll see you down the road.